Referring back to our visual aid tool here, we can derive that we know the minimum and maximum values cannot be any less than one cube because that will always be the top of the pyramid of the number that's passed in. Given those min and max values in our example, I switched it to four. So if the pyramid was being built with four cubes, this is a little easier to articulate in a binary tree, but we are able to take the midpoint and get the sum of all of these cubes in a mathematic formula and see if this number is either lower than or greater than the number that we're looking for in our test scenario. This changes the lookup time to O log N as we're able to introduce a binary tree. And the reason this is important, what the code challenge here is trying to illustrate is as the number grows that we're processing, that process time needs to grow as little as possible. In our original solution, the time that it would take for numbers to get calculated in that way would grow exponentially as you added numbers to them. This approach is a way around that by reducing the number of possible outcomes using a binary tree and preventing a unnecessary loop for finding that sum value for all of the cubes by using the formula we're about to show you in the finished solution. In the finished solution here, we are able to derive the low end, which is going to be one cubed, and the high end, which will be the cube root of the number that's passed in. And in order to find that in Ruby, we're using this notation here. We're then able to iteratively go through our binary tree and figure out which number is either less than or greater than the number that we're looking for. And that helps us deterministically reduce the number of outcomes that there can be and the number of outcomes that we have to process. So it took our solution from over 2000 milliseconds to run for this small sample test here to under two milliseconds now using this new approach. This is one of those tricky questions that they need to see you operate well under in an interview. I don't think it's a very effective way of testing the merit of a developer, but the gatekeeper that will get us a job that we need ultimately need us to perform well under these. So if you want to see more Leap Code challenges and other coding related stuff, feel free to give us a follow or subscribe, give us a thumbs up and let us know how we're doing. Till then, we'll see you next time.